No first slip, though. And that's the first boundary of the contest, the fall shot, nevertheless. Seven without loss. Hasn't hit it nearly enough, a little bit of bounce. And Hold has Banton once again. Come down the wicket, not quite set, not gonna settle base. Jason Roy drives that with a, a greater degree of power to get to the boundary. Over the top of the man at backward point for four. Loose delivery. Lovely touch from Jason Roy. All timing. Using the pace of Sheldon Cottrell here for Jason Roy. What a shot that is. Wow, that's on the roof. That has gone out of the Kensington Oval, Greenwich here in stand. From the top of the bottom of the bat, I think. Run through the vacant slip, Corden down for four. Roy goes over the top, he's got plenty of it. And that's almost killed a Crusader out there over long off. slower ball deceives Jason Roy but uh, he gets a rather streaky boundary down the third man and that brings 50 up for England and it's up and over oh my goodness it's gone all the way for six can't quite believe that that has carried that far Roy goes square hit that hard that's a high quality shot from Jason Roy. Eight gone, 65 for one. Pinch down the ground. Not even Pollard can get to that. That has been nailed. Short side. The arms are free. And that ball has smashed into the hall and Griffith stand for six. 50 for Jason Roy. Nine overs gone. Moen Ali likes it, England 80 for one. The placement of that is simply superb because there are two fielders either side of where it went sweeping on the boundary. They had no chance. Pollard strikes again. He's been brilliant in this series with ball in hand and in the field. It's another seems to be a bit of a cutter but getting that important wicket second time that Akil Hussain has gotten James Vince in the series taking away that leg side boundary or that leg side shot this one is a bit wider but he fishes at it he goes at it nice from Moen Ali Deliberately lofted over short fine leg. Yes, 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 yes. Catches the cry, but that's gone. That's gone for six. Moen Ali will take on this left arm spin. 118 for three. Oh, that's gone miles. That's gone miles. You can hear the sound off the bat. Crisp from Livingston. Fans are loving it. Let's see how he finishes off this innings. It's gone high. Just has the legs on it. Yeah. Into the England fans here. Oh, that's six. That is beautiful from Moen Ali. The classic swing of the back. And it has been sent the journey. Oh, throw that one back. That is magnificent, over extra cover, effortless from Moe. Is he going to go wide again? Attacks the stumps, and it's the same result. It's beautiful from Moe.
clocked it. And gone. Yeah, perfect start to over from Shepard. Kenny Shepard uh, going at the pads of Moen Alley and will come back for two. And that is 50 for Moen Alley, his fourth in T20 international cricket. Goes over the long side and it goes all the way. Brilliant timing from Moen Alley. Oh, Moen, that's gorgeous. Should be caught. It's caught. A little bit of pace off. More than to get a fluent back swing into that one. And it goes four, and that's come almost off the back of the bat. And isn't that just the game of cricket? Unlucky. Full ball and leg stump. Trying to tuck it onto the leg side. Leading edge. Billings to the long side. Oh, it's got all of it. He's got all of it. Bounces off the scoreboard. Slam down the ground. It's got a bit of fade on it as well. Oh, that's gone for six. What a finish for Sam Billings. He certainly had a bit of sleep over the last couple of days. England finish off with a bang. 193 for six posted. West Indies will need 194. He looks to go full, overcooks it, and gets drilled down the ground for four. Yeah, but if you miss your length and you over pitch, you will go for runs, especially with the restrictions. Well, oh, there's the first. The Sinis are going to chase this down. There'll need to be a few more of those. Oh, crunched away. It's a really good shot from Mayers. Down the ground and, oh, that's gone. Beautifully struck by Mayers. Width. And as we saw with the West Indies, anything wide of the stumps gets punished here on this track at Kensington Oval. Wide again, and that's gone all the way. That has been given the treatment. Fabulous. Fabulous. Mayers knew he was going to go straight. He wasn't going to bowl another wide one. And like Mills, he starts with a short and wide, and the result is very similar to what Mayers did. You know, going forward, there, there's something about the few deliveries that King has played. And it's not a precursor to whether he'll get a big score today. I'm just saying. Good touch. Very good from Brandon King. Very controlled. No risk there at all. And so that's well held. Fine innings from Kyle Mears comes to an end. Moen Ali just held it back a touch. Just held it back a touch. Hill Street hasn't hit it. Hasn't hit it at all. Very well held. The experience that they've shown, something had to give. And unfortunately for Brandon King, not executed the shot. Oh, oh he's knocked him over. Spin did the trick. Adil Rashid, that is an absolute ripper. Full of blame. Fantastic delivery. Through the gate. Deceived Rockman Paul. It's a fantastic ball. Oh, shot. Oh, shot. Power. Serious power. Oh, that's gone miles. That's gone miles. Throw it back from the harbour. What's Livingston's comeback going to be? Wide again. Ah. Went wider. And yes. gone. Yeah, 
with his sleeves to go on the edge. Carry straight to Jason Roy. Good dive and catch forward. And he's nailed that. Bounces off the West Indies dugout for six for Jason Holder. Long levers. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, this has been a 60 se series so far. <laughs> Wonderful striking. It, it was in the slot with peace on. Long levers of Jason Holder gets another one across the boundary. They're really putting on a show, Jason Holder. Just wonder if there was a miscommunication between Vince and Jordan and both pulled up without going for the ball. Not enough. Topley strikes again. He's having a good series and Jordan is everywhere. Yeah, just not getting underneath that delivery. Could only pick out Chris Jordan. And that's the advantage of a dominant bottom hand that Jordan gets too straight and that squeeze away for four. Now there's a fielder directly almost behind the bowler as well. Eh? So Jordan is expecting Pollard to go there. Oh, misjudged it a touch, Jason Roy. Ends well. Cheer goes up around the ground for England supporters as England draw level. Series tied up a two all. England win by 34 runs. Very well led tonight by this man in the absence of Owen Morgan. And he'll be very pleased with this performance, especially leading from the front, taking wickets. His bowling changes were absolutely on point. Smiles are wrong, but tomorrow is going to be that day.